Nearly half of Americans believe our democracy is broken. It's hard to blame them. In 2010, the U.S. Supreme Court's Citizens United decision gave corporations the green light to spend unlimited money to influence federal, state, and even local elections. And that's what giant corporations have done, drowning out the voices of ordinary citizens. Whose money are these corporations spending? And whose interests are the executives looking out for? Many are substantially owned or influenced by foreign investors. The Saudi government can't spend money in U.S. elections. That's illegal. But it can leverage its stake in American companies so that they do exactly that by proxy. In fact, 40% of corporate stock is owned by foreign investors. Whether those investors are Russian oligarchs, Canadian energy conglomerates, or European financiers, corporate decisions are increasingly influenced by these foreign concerns and they are shaping the laws that we live by. That's a direct threat to our democratic self-government. But we can fix it. All across the country, the American people are fighting back. 73% of Americans, including majorities of both Democrats and Republicans, support limiting political spending by companies with any foreign ownership. Seven states are currently considering a ban on foreign-influenced corporate political spending, including New York. New York's Democracy Preservation Act would prevent some of the biggest multinational corporate political spenders from pouring money into New York state and municipal elections. By passing the Democracy Preservation Act, New York has the chance to rebuild trust in democracy. Learn more about these critical nationwide efforts to ban foreign-influenced corporate political spending at freespeechforpeople.org.